that work? Hold on. There you go. Hello and welcome to Central Lion High School. I'm Jeff Cruz. I'll be joined tonight by Mr. Jason Engelman, high school principal here at Central Lion, for some Central Lion versus Boyden Hall Siouxland Conference basketball action. About eight minutes away from tip off here in Rock Rapids. As we get ready for tonight's Rematch as this is the second time through for these teams. Girls last December, Central Line won on a very tightly contested game, 40 to 38. Watch that on Boyden Hall's YouTube channel. I believe that uh, the, girl, the Boyden Hall girls actually had a shot to win it um, as time expired. Luckily for the Lions, they were not able to knock down the uh, basket, but uh, Lions will hope to improve and uh, or win at least and. Uh, Maybe less, uh, you know, less dramatic fashion tonight. Want to thank our sponsors, as always, Avera Health, Frontier Bank, Pizza Ranch, Premier Bank, Sanford Health, DeNoble Austin & Company PC, and the Pepsi Beverage Company. Boyden Hall coming into tonight's contest with a 10-5 record overall, 9-4 in the Siouxland Conference. They are led by senior Brooke Zilstra. Number five, five seven senior leads the team in scoring of 15.7 points per game. Also leads in rebounds with 5.8 rebounds per game and leads the team in assists at 3.8 assists per game. Senior Mallory Niles leads the team in steals at 1.7 steals per game. Second in points at 11.6 per game, and second in rebounds at 4.3 rebounds per game. Third in points for the Comets is junior Emma Zot. She has 6.6 .6 points per game. And senior Michaela Van S leads the team in blocks at 2.6 blocks per game for Van S. She's also third on the team in rebounds with 3.6 rebounds per game. Comets are coached by Nathan Alexander. They have upcoming games. They play again on Thursday over at HMS and then again on Friday at home versus West Lyon. For your Central Lyon Lions, they have an overall record of 11-4 and 10-3 and and in conference play. They are led by junior guard Hayden Hymanson, number four, leading the team in points at 20.2 points per game and leads in steals with 3.2 steals per game. Senior Kylie Metzger, second in points at 8.5 points per game and second in rebounds at 5.1 rebounds per game. Leading the team in rebounds is senior post Farrah Lewis with 6.1 rebounds per game. She's also third in points at 7.5 points per game. And senior Sutton Slumbum leads the team in assists, 3.7 assists per game for the 5'8 senior guard. She's also third on the team in rebounds 
4.2 rebounds per game. Lions are coached by Heather Grafing, and they will be back in action this Friday, back here in Rock Rapids versus Sioux Center, and next Tuesday, again, here in Rock Rapids versus Sheldon. We'll have the basketball game on our Central Line Broadcasting Network next Friday versus Sioux Center. Start time at 6 o'clock there. And we will also have the Sioux Land Conference Wrestling Tournaments next this coming Friday, 445 start time for the wrestling tournaments. And then next Tuesday, basketball here again with Sheldon for another boys-girls doubleheader, 6 o'clock start time there. Take a look at some team stats now. Boyden Hall Rack, sorry, Boyden Hall, it's used to saying Boyden Hall Rack Valley as being a football coach. Boyden Hall, averaging 46.2 points per game, shooting just 38.8% from the field, 27.8 rebounds a game as a team, 13.8 assists, and 8.2 steals as a team. For the Lions, they are averaging 56.2 points per game, shooting 45.9% from the field, averaging 31.1 rebounds, and 13 assists even per game for the Lions, and 12 and a half steals per game as well. Very similar uh, stats there. Lady Lions do average, you know, their, their game is up and down running, uh, averaging 56.2 points per game, uh, 10 points more average full than Boyne Hall. Uh, so you can look back and see the, the first matchup this year, 40 to 38, Lions got the lead. So low scoring, low scoring affair is gonna favor Comets. The Lions are gonna wanna get out and run. They're gonna wanna play full, pre full court pressure. Uh, you know, they, their, their press, their, uh, their aggressive defense is often how they lead to uh, some runouts or higher scoring games. They're going to be looking to do that tonight as well. Uh, did a good job of it over in West Lyon last Friday night with a big win over West Lyon. Uh, came down to free throws basically at the end and made enough of them. They didn't shoot great from the free throw line, but uh, as they shoot, uh, what do we have them for? 61.3% uh, from the free throw line as a team. Not bad, not great either, but uh, made enough of them on Friday to get the, get the season sweep against West Lyon and improve uh, their overall record to 11 and four. Take a look at the Siouxland Conference standings now, as it stands today. Okaboji still on top. I believe they are ranked ninth now, I do believe. Ninth ranked in, C in class 3A. 14 and one overall, 11 and one in the Siouxland. Followed by the Lions and Boyden Hall and West Lion now tied at nine and four overall in the Siouxland Conference. The Lions, as we said, will have Sioux Center on Friday. Sioux Center sitting in fifth in the conference. Lions lost the first time around over at Sioux Center. We'll be looking to, uh, I think they lost by 12 or so, so they'll be looking to remedy that this Friday. And then next Tuesday, they will have Sheldon, who is eighth right now in the Siouxland Conference. A minute and a half away from tip off. We're waiting for my cohort, Mr. Jason Engelman. The Lions have left the court here while waiting for Boyden Hall before we get into our starting lineups.
And we're getting ready here for starting lineups. We'll start with the visiting Boyden Hall Comets. Starting tonight for Boyden Hall. Number five, a senior, Brooke Zilstra. Number 13, junior, Lydia Grand. Number 23, Emma Zolt, junior. Number 31, Mallory Niles, a senior. And number 45, senior, Michaela Van Ness. So two juniors and three seniors. That's how the comments will go. For the Lions, same starting lineup that we've had all year. We'll go with this. Junior, number four, Hayden Hymanson. Number 20, a sophomore, Regan Van Wy. Senior, number 22, Sutton Schlumbum. Number 40, Kylie Metzger, a senior. And senior, number 44, Farah Lewis. Lions will go with a sophomore, a junior, and three seniors. Lions, once again, are coached by Heather Grafing, while the Comets are coached by Nathan Alexander. We're going to take a break here as we get ready for the National Anthem. You're watching Lions basketball on the Central Lion Broadcast Network. surrounded by a team focused on your mind, body, and spirit. That passion inspires our expert doctors and researchers to uncover more progressive treatments and technology, prescribing more effective medications, analyzing your DNA to pinpoint the best treatment for you. No matter what the future holds, our passion for progress will never fade. Welcome back to Central Line High School. National Anthem is sung. Starting lineups have been announced and we are ready to tip off the Siouxland Conference basketball matchup. Double check our starting lineup here as Mr. Jason Lingleman, after officiating that uh, very, very close ninth grade game and before this, is. I don't know if we can get more intense than that. Yeah, that was that Down one was the wire overtime. We couldn't even decide a winner. It was so close. Yeah, I, I, I'm not sure what happened. I heard Central Line was down by 11 at halftime. I walked in and we were up by four. And next thing you know, it's uh, Boyne Hall had a shot to win it there at the buzzer, but uh, nothing happened. So we'll move on to the varsity game. As I said earlier, Lions with a two-point win earlier this season, 40 to 38. They're definitely going to obviously want to get the win again, but they're going to want to push the pace and get a lot more points than that. Good. Good positioning by Lewis, who dumps it in for a two-point basket. Buried her defender deep in the lane there. Good post move right off the bat from Fair Lewis. Yeah, it looked like they saw a mismatch there. Fair went to the went to the block. Kylie Metzger went up top, and Farrah just uh, muscled her way down for an easy bucket. We got that uh, that uh, black on black numbers again here. Gonna make oh, it a little hard to see goodness. there, Mr. Engelman. My eyesight isn't what it used to be. Defensive board by Lewis over to Slumbum looking to push. Lions were in a 2-3 zone that time down. Van Wy looking for some offense here. Lions will reset at the top of the key. And 
Tipped out of bounds, going to remain here with the Central Line Lions wearing the white tonight. As Mr. Cruz said, Boyden Hall Comets in black. Yeah, I'm sure he went over all the statistics. Central Line girls coming in 11 and four overall, 10 and three in the conference. Right behind them, Boyden Hall, Boyden Hall varsity girls, nine and four in the conference, 10 and five overall. So you almost did it too. I called them Boyden Hall Rack Valley yeah, earlier. Yeah. Baseball, yeah. baseball coach, baseball. football coach. You get used to saying one thing, and yep. it's hard to switch. So we don't. It's not intentional, folks. It's just a, just a habit. Rebounded there by Boyd Hall. Let me get accustomed to the numbers and players here. Mallory Niles, a senior. She'll also take the shot, and it's up and good off glass. 2-2 two, two early in this one. Nobody stopped Niles. She, she just went uh, all the way down the block and got an easy bucket. Lions need to do a better job of stopping the ball handler there out top. Lewis maybe pivoted the wrong direction. Might have had a high low there with Metzger, who's getting good position down low. Comet sagging a little bit on the perimeter, daring the guards to maybe take a long outside jumper. Hymanson working the baseline. Floater up and good on the right side. Hayden, who is the leading scorer for the Lions this year, leads team with just over 20 points a game, having herself a good offensive season so far for the Lions. That's number 23 out on the perimeter, Emma Zote. Left-handed layup is up and good by number five, Brooke Zylstra. She's a senior. Coach Nathan Alexander instructing his defense as Coach Grafing is shouting out the offensive plays for the Lions. Looks like the Lions getting ready to sub here at the next break. Good defensive pressure there being applied by number 13. Lydia Grand. Inside Lewis, left-handed, hook shot no good. Metzger with the rebound, she'll get another rebound. Kick it out to Schlumbum. Goes in for a layup, no good. And she's gonna get called for the player control foul charging. Perhaps maybe should have came to a jump stop and shot a little, little shorter jump shot there or maybe a float shot. Yeah, it looked like she got a little deep. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me, got a little deep in there in the lane and uh, uh, she kind of fooled everyone. They all thought she was going to shoot the three, and both the girls down low turned for a rebound, but she bobbled the ball and uh, took it off the dribble. Unfortunate for the Lions there to uh, draw that foul. Now into the game, number 24, Kaylee Davis, and number 10, Addison Klostebor for the Lions as Schlumbo and Van Wye take three a seat. Three-pointers up, no good, a little on there for Zote. Gron going to drive baseline left side. Floater from the left hand is up and good. Good move there by Grand. Not sure if she's left-handed or not, but she took it up with her left hand. It's a good thing because she took it up with her right. Kylie Metzger was going to slam it into the out of bounds in into the, the wall there. In the block there. Hymanson driving left, cut off. Klostevor for three, no good. Long rebound by number 45. That's Michaela Van Es, another senior for the Comets. Van Es over to Gron. Gron looks like she is a lefty there. Yep. She put that Long one up. Long shot, no good. Rebound Lewis again. Neither team. Hymanson for three, but neither team making a big push on offense till that three point shot. 7 6 early here. 3 30 remaining. I don't know if our custodian's got all the hoops up. I can hardly see the clock. Yeah, here. it's a little, little difficult. So if I'm to looking see over your clock. shoulder, Mr. Cruz, that's because yeah. I'm looking at the clock, not, have to, have to not look micromanaging our, you. Yeah, have to look at the stat sheet over here on our monitor as uh, Regan Van Wy checks in for Farrah Lewis and number 11, Haley Van Rokel, will check in for Emma Zote for the Comets. Comets taking the ball out of bounds underneath their own basket. Long outlet, Grand at the top of the key over to. Sorry, that is Niles. Three-pointer was up and good. Back and forth battle, lines down two. Van Wy thinks about it, decides to kick it back out to Hymanson. Spin move in the lane, floater up and good. Hymanson gets the friendly roll around the basket. 
Yeah, good take there by, by Hayden Hymanson. She keeps doing that. She's going to have some wide open girls on the opposite block as uh, they'll look to uh, sell or kind of sag down to her as Niles takes another three. Another three for Niles, no good. Long rebound attempt by 45. That is Van S. And she's going to be out of bounds, so possession will go to the Lady Lions. Again, you got Klosterbor, Hymanson, Van Wy, Metzger, and Davis out there for CL. Again, Lions looking, looking for that gap in the defense. You can tell Boydenhole's kind of dropping back, really trying to take away our post presence. Yeah, Lions, Lions need to be ready to, to get the ball and shoot quickly. Kind of a four out, one in offense run here by the Lions, which requires a lot of cutting, a lot of screening away from the ball. Davis from the corner, no good. Rebound by number 11, that's Van Rokel, Haley. Another senior for the Comets. Quite a few seniors with this group. Metzger gets the deflection. Turnover Comets as the Lions bring it up and they will set up their offense. Once again, thanks for joining us on the Central Line Broadcast Network. We got a bump on the shot. We're gonna have two shot foul as Hymanson will go to the line. Let's see who this one's on. I believe number 11, Haley Van Rokel, the 5'4 senior, will pick up her first personal foul, team first foul as well. First one's no good for Hymanson as Brooklyn Kroll will enter, as will two seniors, Sutton Schlumbum and Farrah Lewis for the Lions. Number 51 is Leah Roseboom. Junior enters her first minutes of action tonight for the Comets. And second free throw for Hymanson is up and good. Hayden improving her free throw shooting as of late, up to 76% uh, on the season. So doing a good job there from the charity stripe is Hymanson. She gets there quite often. 120 remains here in the first quarter. As Gron drives baseline, she's going to shuffle her feet for the turnover. And in will come number 23, Zote, replacing Gron on the court. Yeah, Gron had a nice move there, just uh, kind of lost the ball when she grabbed it. She moved her foot there, unfortunately, for the Comets. Lions work it around the outside. Hymanson will take the three, and that's nothing but nylon as that goes through. Hayden, easily the leading scorer right now for the Lions with, I believe, 10 unofficially. 11, you're telling me, Mr. Cruz? I believe they just updated on the video board here, which is updates a little quicker than our stat sheet. So 11 of the Lions, 13 for Hymanson. Van Roko for three, no good. Tipped around, it's going to go out of bounds off the Comets. Good chance to let you know who's working with us at, at home. We got McKenna Metzger over here on the stool. I don't know what she's doing, but I know it's helpful. Morgan Meyer, Aubrey Metzger, and Levi Cooperschmid all assisting in some capacity with the video board statistics and our camera footage. So appreciate their work. And of course, Mr. Cruz here who introed the game and is working to my side. Lions need to do something here. Ten seconds left. And they did. They turned it over. Not what we were hoping Not for. Not what they were hoping for, no. Just over, just under eight seconds left. 13-9. The lead going to the Lions. We'll see if Boynton Hall gets a shot off here. As Zolt drives baseline, she's going to draw the blocking foul. We'll see. I think that's on Farrah Lewis. That's going to be the third team foul. Farrah's first. And Comets will take it out of bounds with two seconds remaining this first quarter. So with the three, no good. And that brings us to the end of the first quarter. Lions up 13 to nine. Small town values will never fade. Always finding a familiar face. A long lost friend with a helpful hand. Picking right up where you left off again. 
It's your hometown bank in your own backyard with people that you trust. It's the way you like to live. It's the way you like to bank. Premier Bank, member FDIC. It's here. And here. There too. This way and that. Across the street and around the world. It's healthcare reinvented, and it lives in all of these places because we believe it should. That her and him and them all deserve healthcare that lives where they do. Sanford Health. Health lives here. Mm. Back here at Central Lion for the start of the second quarter. Lions lead 13 to nine. In for the Lions is Davis, Klosterbor, Metzger, Lewis, and Schlumbum. And for the Comets, we got Niles, Zot. Let's see here, number 11 is Van Rokel. And let's see, I'm missing a few yet. 51 is Leah Roseboom. There, I think I got everybody. I believe so. High low action, Metzger to Lewis, just like you draw it up. And that's what the Lions would like to do every possession if they can. Yeah, good stop by the Lions. Get a turnover, come back down, get a score, and now they lead by six. And before we have out of bounds, we're gonna have a pushing foul, I believe, on Kylie Metzger. That is the first on Kylie, team fourth. And in for the Lions is Heimanson and Van Wy. Now in for the comments is number 15, Ellie Wobler, sophomore. Her first action of the evening. Roseboom over to Zote, who misses the long jumper. Rebound corralled by Heimanson. Again, kind of a four out, one in offense with four guards and one forward out there for the Lions. Again, for this to be successful, you gotta have a lot of movement by your guards. Yeah, it does, and it gets a little difficult to rebound on the backside. As we got a turnover there. there. Good idea, but uh, pass a little long for Farrah Lewis to hang on to. Turnover by the Lions. Van Ness checks back into the game for the Comets as Leah Roseboom will take a seat. Long shot by number five. That was Zylstra, no good. Heimanson going to try a three on one. And it's up and good. No foul call as Zote hits the deck. Heimanson with another two points. Inside passing, no good. Intercepted by Van Wy, who's going to lead the break. Over to Davis to Klosterbor, and she likes that three-point shot. It's up and good. Yeah, very good there, Addison. Almost lost it. Actually, yep. I thought when she was going to go grab it, but she uh, able to control it. Knock down the three. Lions lead 20-9. to nine. Coach Alexander is going to take just a 30-second timeout, so we'll stay here with them. Remind everybody. Make sure you hit that subscribe button at home on our YouTube channel so you know when we start our live broadcast or when we upload videos. And make sure you subscribe or follow Central Line on Facebook and Twitter to keep up on all the latest news. And did you, did you tell the audience, Mr. Cruz, we're going to have a difficult decision for them on Friday night? I did, I did. They, okay. I, well, I didn't tell them. I just told them they're going to be able to watch both on our channel. Oh, okay, so you okay. Can maybe get a phone and a tablet or uh, you know, a computer and a tablet or something like that. Watch the wrestling on one. one. I'll, be, uh, I'll be in Sioux Center doing that. And uh, Mr. Engelman, along with a uh, mystery uh, guest commentator, We'll be here in the gym on Friday. We're not really sure who's going to do it. A couple people of mine. A couple uh, people have asked about it, yep. so I'm, I'm evaluating the situation. Yep. We'll see. I mean, not just anybody can come in. No, and, and no, it's, it's a lot tougher shoes. than it looks. Yeah, yeah. We'll see what we get here on uh, Friday. But, yeah, we'll have all you Boyden Hall fans, you can tune into our channel on YouTube if you want to 
pay attention to the Siouxland Conference Wrestling Tournament on Friday. Or better yet, head over to Sioux Center and watch it in person. That's right. Going to these events in person, as even though we do a pretty good job of kind of painting the picture and giving a nice spin to these games and events, it's always better to be here in person. Yes, very, very true. Turnover by the Lions. Comet's looking to capitalize. Long pass ahead to Grand, who gets caught up in the air and going to get called for the travel. Yeah, good, good recovery defense there by the Lions as Schlumbum checks in for the Lions and Van Rokel back in for the Comets. <clears throat> Excuse me, but very good recovery defense there in that transition for the Lions to avoid, uh, uh, could have been an open pass down to the, the block there for a layup. So good job there by Kylan Metzger and the Lions. Schlumbum back in for the Lions. That was pretty lucky. <laughs> yeah, that worked out. <laughs> Niles in the corner, just elects not to shoot the long three. He's going to pass it around the perimeter. Zote over to Zylstra, down low. And we're going to have a foul, I think, on Farrah Lewis as she reaches in trying to deflect that pass. And she knows what that means. She's already running towards the bench. Yeah, I believe that will be her second foul of the evening. Aggressive foul, though. The Lions playing a little kind of matchup 2-3, but they're very aggressive in it, so can't fault the effort there. Nope. 15 foul already on the Lions, though, to just one by Boyden Hall. Good take there by Niles, but even better rebound is here come the Lions. Slumbum drives in. She's going to get called for the charge, her second charge call of the evening. Again, perhaps maybe just one less dribble and kind of a pull-up jumper. Might be recommended. Yeah, the girl was a little low. She had both feet in the lane, but uh, still three on two probably should have should have resulted in a better or a better result at least for the Lions. But still on a eight nothing run. Is that right? Nine nothing run here to start this quarter. So inside looked like a block, but I think Klossborg gets a little of the arm as. Marissa Potabom, who again, I don't think we've called that name yet, is seeing some action. She's going to go to the free throw line to shoot a pair. 37% free throw shooter on the season. First one is up and good. That didn't look like a 37% free throw shot. Checking in now for the Comets is number 21, Sydney Damstra. She will replace Emma Zote. Don't forget, fans, if you're out there, don't feel free to shoot us a text. I'm already receiving a few. One from my former neighbor and one of our quality elementary instructors, Natalie Larson's at home with her family. So thanks to them for watching. Hi, Colin and Anders. Stay up late tonight, you two. That's right. Don't give your mom and dad any, no, any favors. <laughs> Kroll gets caught. But she gets it out to Heimatson, who's going to do some dribbling into the lane. Floater, no good. Some interior passing. We're going to have a push as Kylie Metzger, I think, is going to pick up her second foul. So both forwards for the Lions are probably going to see some extended time on the bench with two personals apiece. That's the 18 foul. So quite a disparity in fouls at this point. Eight for the Central Line Lions and only one for the Boyden Hall Comets. First one is up and good for Potabom. Yeah, you're right. That that's, uh, shooting form doesn't look like a 37% shooter. No, that's pretty solid. Yeah, Not sure. I mean, she's shot on the year. Maybe not very many, which really can affect your percentage. Second one is no good. Rebounded by Hymanson. Hayden again leading score at this point for the Lions with 13. Good penetration by Davis, who kicks it out to Kroll, and she's going to set it back up. Lions running some time off the clock here. Not really what they're trying to do. Nope. But we said it once, we'll say it again. There is no shot clock, so you're no, not penalized not. for holding on to the basketball. No. 
Not the greatest set Just makes it Lions. hard for us to commentate it, sometimes. It does. Potterbaum pulls down the rebound, kicks it out to Zylstra. Three-point shot is no good. Van Rokel no good, saved by Potterbaum. And we're going to get a timeout. Looks like we got a 30-second timeout here by Coach Grafing. Yeah, good little, good time out there. Lions kind of have an odd lineup on the on the court. Um, not something that they normally have out there with some of those girls together. So a little little uh, dysfunctional offensively at the moment. But uh, hopefully they can drop a set here and get uh, get a good good half court play drawn up here. Want to make sure that we thank our sponsors once again: Avera Health, Frontier Bank, Pizza Ranch, Premier Bank, Sanford Health, Noble Austin and Company PC, and the Pepsi Beverage Company. <clears throat> also want to say hi to uh, Jeff Jager, one of the wrestling coaches watching from home. Speaking of wrestling, want to make sure we let everyone know Coach Eben up for Northwest District Coach of the Year in Class 2A for wrestling around for this area. All right, Coach Eben. That's right. Four coaches in each class are nominated. Not only is Coach Eben a fantastic head coach but he's got a quality crew of coaches including Mr. Jagger with him they do an excellent job with the with the boys they've that's right uh, program of success no doubt about it three uh three Pete on the dual championship as Potomom is fouled van, by Van Wy. a lot of a lot of bodies hitting the floor right now yeah. getting a little sloppy Potterbaum's going to go to the line again, so she's getting her foul shots in she this is. first half. She hasn't shot a lot on the year. She's definitely shooting a lot tonight as this is her uh, fifth and sixth free throws, or at least her fifth one for sure. That one's up and good. She's four for five from the line tonight. 2.21 remaining here. Potterbaum only averaging three and a half points on the season already with four. 2.23 left, 22 to 14, Lion lead. Kind of a ticky-tack foul here as Niles reaches in. That's not, only the second team foul for the Comets. Not a very smart foul either, to be honest. The, the, no reason to even, even attempt to make that steal when she's out of position. But uh, They do have a few to give here before they, the half's they over. Do. They, they do. Davis will drive, kick. Kaya Borman seeing her first action tonight. Ball's rolling on the floor, and that's going to be a jump ball. Saw Coach Alexander trying to get the timeout, but I don't quite think anyone had true possession of that basketball. No, I think there are about eight hands on it. Yep. And uh, Lions will maintain possession, though. They need to get, uh, they've been stuck on 22 here for a while as it was a 13-point lead, now just down to eight. Hymanson drives, turn around, step back in, left-handed shot. She's gonna get bailed out here with the foul call. Good, good footwork by Hayden. Yeah, she went in for the fake shot, kind of pivoted away. The Boyden Hall defender that was doubling her went away with her and came back right to it and got fouled, so. First shot is up and no good. Hayden on the season is shooting, yep, I think you said it already, 76% from the line. Again, leading the Lions with 20 points per game. Emma Zolt checks back in for the Comets. Both teams going deep into their benches early in this one. Now we have uh, Boyden Hall with 10 girls already played and Central Lion with nine. Another loose ball picked up. Oh, we're going to have a foul on the play. I think Niles is going to get called with that one. As she lost control of the basketball and then tried to get it back and kind of rolled into one of the central line players. Niles so, picks up two quick fouls here, only four team fouls, but two of them on Niles. As Coach Alexander was trying to sub for her, but he was too late. Yeah, you saw that sub run to the scores table, but didn't quite get in in time. I think if you're the Lions, you nope. Oh, you try to go at Mallory Niles, but they're not going to get the opportunity as we had a foul top of the key. 
That's on number 31. Nope. Check that. Number five, Zylstra, her first, team fifth. Number 15, Wobler will check back into the game for the Comets. Hymanson will drive left, cut off. Good defense by Zote. Base guarding Hymanson. Kroll, the lefty will drive left. Davis for three, no good. And rebound corral by Zylstra. Nearly loses her footing. And we got a timeout here. Comets, let's see, what do we got? Just a 30, another Just 30. 30. All right, we'll take this opportunity Remind you that, uh, once again, Friday, we will have the Siouxland Conference Wrestling Tournament on the Central Line Broadcast Network. I will be in Sioux Center for that. I'm sure I will get, uh, let's see if I can work on Coach Lupkus to help me out during the finals, at least to give some, some sense of actual good commentary besides me just telling scores and times. But uh, Mr. Engelman will be here. Well, don't underestimate yourself. Well, I, I'm, I'm overestimating myself <laughs> if I say any, any credit on talking coherently about wrestling. but. Uh, Mr. Engelman will be here on Friday for our next home game versus Sioux Center. And then next Tuesday, we will have another home boys and girls doubleheader versus Sheldon. Basketball starts at 6.15, and we will start our broadcast at 6 o'clock. We are just under a minute here in Rock Rapids, 48 seconds to be exact, as the comments bring it up for our offensive Thought maybe we had a double dribble there, but no call. Pass down low to Zylstra, basket up, no good. It's gonna be tipped around, controlled by Hymanson. And she's looking to drive, and she's going to get it up. Off the glass and in. You gotta stop Hayden way at the top of the key. If you let, you let her dribble all the way down, she's gonna get a lot yeah. of baskets. Potabom putting in some good minutes for the comments this evening. Six points, I believe, already for Potomom now. Lions looking for the last shot. Seven seconds remain. Kroll's going to pull up with the jumper from the elbow. And that's good. 26 16, 10 point lead here for Central Line Lions over the Boyden Hall Comets as we head into halftime. Hi, this is David with DeNoble Austin & Company PC Certified Public Accountants. We want to take this opportunity to thank everyone involved with the Central Line Community Schools for their hard work and effort, whether it be academics, extracurricular activities, or the many clubs. We at DeNoble Austin & Company PC Certified Public Accountants are proud of your commitment and dedication to making our school and community a better place for tomorrow. At Avera, you're surrounded by a team focused on your mind, body, and spirit. That passion inspires our expert doctors and researchers to uncover more progressive treatments and technology, prescribing more effective medications, analyzing your DNA to pinpoint the best treatment for you. No matter what the future holds, our passion for progress will never fade. Small town values will never fade Always finding a familiar face A long lost friend with a helpful hand Picking right up where you left off again It's your hometown bank In your own backyard With people that you trust It's the way you like to live It's the way you like to bank Premier Bank, member FDIC it's here, and here, there too, this way and that, across the street and around the world. 
It's healthcare reinvented, and it lives in all of these places because we believe it should. That her and him and them all deserve healthcare that lives where they do. Sanford Health. Health lives here.
And we're back here at Central Lion getting ready for the second half tip off or start. Lions with a 10 point lead. Looking at some halftime stats here. Lions leading in field goal percentage, shooting 55% from the field just to 28% for Boyden Hall. Three for seven are the Lions from three point for 43%. Boyden Hall just one for eight at 12.5%. Boyden Hall with the advantage, five for seven from the free throw line, shooting 71%. Lions just one for four, 25% from the free throw line. 14 rebounds for the Lions to 11 for Boyden Hall. Seven turnovers also for the Lions, only five for Boyden Hall. Leading scorer, Potabom for the Comets with seven. And leading all scores is Hayden Hymanson with 15. Metzger and Niles, both leading rebounders with three apiece. Lions in a little bit of, uh, little bit of foul trouble in that first half there, Mr. Engelman. But uh, nobody with more than two, so they'll come out here probably with the same starters, and hopefully they can uh, get after it right away and uh, extend this 10-point lead. Yeah, nothing we haven't seen before. Um, unfortunately, Kylie or Fair have found themselves in foul trouble consistently in the first half of most games that we've covered here at home at least. And we've done a good job of kind of weathering the storm. We didn't score a whole lot. Like to see some complimentary offense um, besides Hayden, who's got quite a bit of points herself. But see a few more girls, see, see Sutton score a few more, see Reagan, Van Wy look to score a few more baskets. Um, obviously, if we can get that high-low going again, that, that's our bread and butter, if you ask me. Yeah, good cut there by Zylstra, or Zylstra to uh, get that bucket as the Comets come out and score first here in the third quarter. Van Wy, that shot is deflected. Slumbum looking at three. Couldn't quite get the space. Hymanson's going to drive left. Nope. Pulls it back out. Inside to Lewis, who's got good position. She hands it off to Metzger, and her bank shot is no good. Encourage Kylie to get back there and not pick up a silly foul. Yeah, good movement there by the Lions, but... Uh, Mallory Niles hits a baseline yeah. jumper. The Comets right back on offense. Now just a six-point lead here for the Lions as they had pushed it to 10 there right before half. Hymanson trying to drive, looks down low to Lewis. Sutton Schlumbum for three, a little long, no good. Rebound there. Comets up ahead to Zote. Potabom down low, no good. So Potabom gets to start the second half. Yeah, I think Sutton actually got a block there on that uh, first attempt by the Comets. Schlumbum drives in, left-handed layup's no good, and that's going to be off black. Stays here at the Lions. That was good ball movement, though. Sutton gets it down low. We get it down low. Sutton cuts ball back to her. Nice little slip-by move. Unfortunately, just a little too hard off the backboard. But maintains, lines maintain possession. Schlumbum again. Comments are playing behind the post. So we need to probably work on our entry passes here because we can get them down there to Lewis and Metzger. Farah fumbles it, gets it back, and we got a foul on the ground. Let's see who this one's on. Number 33, that'll be Marissa Potabom, her first, team first of the half. Hymanson shoots a long three, that's good. For the junior, she extends her point total to 18 and the lead for the Lions up to nine. That cross court pass by Van Ness sails out of bounds. A little high. As Davis and Klostbor check back in for the Lions. Van Wy and Lewis will get a break. Entry pass into Metzger, goes left side, over her shoulder, off glass, and good. Nice strong move there by the senior. Senior using Powered her it up with her left hand, hand yeah. Hand. yeah. Lead back to 11 here for the Lions. Oh, good position down low. 
to the Comets, and they can't convert. That was number 45, Van S, who had good, good position right underneath the hoop, which can be a difficult spot to take a shot from. Yeah, it might have been a little too far underneath, actually, by the time she got the ball. And uh, we got an inbounds foul as Kaylee Davis goes for the steal. She's going to get called for the push. Number 13, Lydia Gron checking back into the game. She checks in for Van Ness. Zylstra out to Niles, going to take the jump shot. That is off rim, glass, and through the net. Niles has a nice soft touch when she gets those about eight footers. She's made a couple of them tonight. She's second point total on the season for the Comets, averaging 11.6 a game, but leads the team in steals at 1.7. The leading scorer on this Comets team is Brooke Zylstra, just over 15 a game. I think we're holding her in check for the most part. Yeah, she has just two on the night as Metzger gets another nice off-balance shot. Niles with 10 points for the Comets as she is now leading scorer for Boyden Hall in this game. Niles drives right side, no good, slum bomb. We'll bring it down. She's gonna kick it to Kaylee Davis for the two-point shot, up and good. That's where the Lions are best. They get the rebound and immediately they're back down the court. Even on no numbers, just three on three, but they do a good job. And they now lead by 13 as Niles has it. Back over to ground now. Lefty gets to the bottom. Um, nice high load to Zylstra. Zylstra off balance. Able to get that one on the opposite side of the rim. Lost the board, top of the key, hit a big three-pointer in the first half. Lions content at this point to run their offense, looking for a good shot. Hymanson thinks she found one. It's no good. Tip out by Slumbum, who gets the rebound. Oh, good idea by Klossbord, maybe just a half a second too late. Yeah, that was a great idea, just, yeah, up in the air and uh, couldn't get it fast enough to Hymanson as... Reagan Van Wy checks in for Slumbum. Not sure who just checked in for the Comets, but Zolt will take a seat. I think Wobler. Yeah, I think Wobler, number 15, is back in now. High low again, this time to Potomac. Oh, big block Rejected. by Metzger. Good recovery block by Kylie Metzger. Davis gets the offensive rebound up and good. And if you don't watch a lot of Lions basketball, one thing for sure is Kaylee Davis has a nose for the basketball. When that ball is loose, you can count on her being, if not getting it, getting very close. That's right, she hustles and she just kind of knows where the ball is going. Just like that, got the offensive rebound and then get the basket. Another like, deflection by Metzger. Kylie has come to play this third quarter. Pass a little, little too long there from Klossport to Metzger. It's going to sail out of bounds. Number 11, Van Rokel, and number 51, Roseboom back in for Grand and Potomom. Another Pass deflection by Metzger, hit. unfortunately, right back to the Lions. Hymanson's going to try a one on two. It's blocked by Niles out of bounds. A little nifty and defensive move there by Niles to let her go by and then get at the block coming from the side and behind. Lions are ahead here by 13, 37, 24. As Hymanson drives baseline, floater, no good. Rebound by Niles. 145 remains in the third quarter. Kind of a back and forth quarter 
Comets came out hot, and then the Lions countered back and have kept their sizable lead. Niles for three. That's a nice shot there from the senior. She adds to her point total. She is the leading scorer for the Comets at this mark. 13. 13 on the night for Mallory Niles. Four we got rebounds a, as well to go with those 13 points. We got a break in the action, just a 30-second timeout as our officials get a little bit of water from our our ball girls, some young elementary girls out there helping the team tonight. Keeping those refs hydrated. I, That's right. As an official myself, I appreciate that. It's tough work out there. It is. It is. I don't, uh, I don't envy you. And then right back up here in the booth, no rest. No rest. I'm, I'm not one for rest. No, just keep, keep going. Can't be tired, right, if you don't stop. That's right. Lions now have a 10-point lead, same lead they had to start this half. As a Comets double team, Hymanson. Force Van Wy to bring the ball up. Lions looking to finish off the quarter here on a high note and extend that lead. That's oh. not going to get it done, though. Nope. Schlumbum cut right as Hymanson is throwing the ball to her. Zote back in for Wobler. Another good crowd on hand this evening for the Siouxland Conference matchup, especially for a Tuesday in the middle of the week. You know it's hard to get out, get out of the house when you get school or work the next day. Well, we appreciate everyone who's here tonight. Another home game on Friday as Central Line will play host to Sioux Center. Again, expect another big crowd for that event. Lewis is going to get called for that foul. That'll be her third. And I can't see the number here, Mr. Number Cruz. 51, 51. Leah yep. Roseboom at the line. Leah Roseboom. Her first point of the evening. The five foot ten junior stepping the line, sinking the first one. And sinks the second. A little full court pressure here with 56 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Comets looking to trim the lead. Looks like they're going to face guard Hymanson wherever she goes and just kind of try and make the Lions play four on four basketball here. Schlumbum's going to pass to Klosterbor. Three point shot is good. That looked good right out of the hand. Yes, it did. A good angle from where we're at. See that one go in. Lions now lead by 11. Looking for a defensive stop here to end this quarter. Pass down low. Oh, good nifty passing by the comments as you got Roseboom to Niles who connects for the two-point play. The lead is nine. Ten seconds remaining. Hymanson gets it. Two, one. Basket is no good, and that'll take us to the end of the third quarter as Lions maintain their lead 40 to 31. Hi, this is David with DeNoble Austin and Company PC Certified Public Accountants. We want to take this opportunity to thank everyone involved with the Central Lion Community Schools for their hard work and effort, whether it be academics, extracurricular activities, or the many clubs. We at DeNoble Austin and Company PC Certified Public Accountants are proud of your commitment and dedication to making our school and community a better place for tomorrow. Back here at Central Lion for the start of the fourth quarter. Lions lead by nine. Comets able to cut in the lead by one during that third quarter. Looked like the Lions were going to extend the lead, but Comets did a good job there getting a turnover and then getting the score. Lions looking to seal the deal here in the fourth quarter. No good from Van Wy. During the break, received another text. Like to Say thanks for watching John and Polly McDonald. They're sitting at home. Purple and gold fans. I'd also like to wish John an early happy birthday. I think his birthday's tomorrow. I think he's 52. So happy birthday, John McDonald, as he turns 52 years old tomorrow. 
travel there by Hymanson. Pass nice. down low, deflected. A nice deflection again by Kylie Metzger. He's gotten her hand on about six or seven passes and had a block this half already. Nifty dribbling there by Mallory Niles as she connects with the left-handed layup. Yeah, she's got long legs. She takes real. She can cover a lot of ground with those those, uh, those steps that she gets and kind of fooled the Lions and got the layup. Long three-pointer from Slumbums off the mark. And here come the Comets. Nice steal there by Sutton Schlumbum. And a steal by Metzger. And defense leading to offense for two buckets or two points there for the Lions, just like they have done all year defense leading to offense that's and right. easy scores. Haven't had a whole lot of it tonight, but that's kind of what they made their living on so far this year. No, I don't know what our turnover total is, but it hasn't been too bad, especially with the live ball turnovers. So, and no good as Slumbaum gets the rebound amongst a group of Comets. And you can see that pass coming from where we were. No good from Hymanson from the corner. Zylstra is going to drive, spin move in the lane. Good move. Blocked Basket by Schlumbaum. No and it's kind of a track race right now. That layup's no good. And I think we're going to have a foul here on number 40. Kylie Metzger will get her third foul, I do believe. Timeout by the Lions. Full timeout, we're going to take it with them. You're watching Lions basketball on the Central Lion Broadcast Network. At Avera, you're surrounded by a team focused on your mind, body, and spirit. That passion inspires our expert doctors and researchers to uncover more progressive treatments and technology, prescribing more effective medications, analyzing your DNA to pinpoint the best treatment for you. No matter what the future holds, our passion for progress will never fade. Back here at Central Line High School for the last five minutes and 42 seconds of this girls basketball game. Lions lead by nine. Led by 10 at halftime, nine at the end of the third quarter. A little sloppy play here to start this fourth quarter. And uh, Mallory Niles for three, hits again. Except for that, Niles now, we have her at, uh, I believe, 21 points for the senior. So almost doubling her season average tonight. Cuts the lead to six. A little high-low again, good pass. And that one rolls around in favor of the Lions and drops through. Lions have had a few of them go in and out. That one looked like it was coming back out. Look at Lewis step into the passing lane there. The Lions need to do a better job of guarding Niles as I was wrong, we have a, just 18 points, but still having a, a night for herself. Zolt for three, no good. Long rebound to Gron, step through, left-handed shot, no good. Potabom up and good. The sophomore now with nine points as well for the Comets. Nice pass there by Sutton Schlumbum. 
I don't know if you can tell on your camera angle, but she threw that ball before Hyman's even got to the block and uh, just great anticipation there. Draws the foul as Klostebor and Van Wy will come back into the game for the Lions. Slumbum over to Klostebor. Pass over to Van Wy. Klostebor is going to line up a three pointer. That's no good. Good rebound by Schlumbaum. Brings it back out. Sets up the offense. Lions lead by six. They need to run their offense, get good shots. Don't need to force anything. Not a lot of fouls called so far in this game. Just two on the Comets and three on the Lions. Addison Klostebor, three, and there it's good. We go. Big shot. Lead back to nine where it was when we started this quarter. Grind all the way, nobody, no defense at all for the Lions. And Grand gets the basket, and now it's just a seven point lead. Oh, deflected from Niles, stolen by Potabom. Lions getting a little sloppy with the basketball. Zylstra for three, she's hit on the hand. Got Coach Alexander out of his seat. Yeah, you know, that, that defense, the Lions, I think they need to realize they're just guarding Hayden Hymanson. They're not really playing a full court press. As it looks like Zylstar will shoot three here, number five. 73% free throw shooter misses the first, but they're not really guarding anyone else on the full court press. If they just get it in to any of the other guards, they can just dribble the ball up. They don't need to run their press break. Nope, absolutely. Not enough pressure for that. You know, Hymanson's just the only one getting guarded. Lewis is going to come out. Kylie Metzger will check back in. I'm Coach Grafing taking Hymanson out of it maybe and putting her on the other end, which might be a smart decision. They're going to face guard her. Oh, good pass over to Metzger and no good on the shot. Nice find by Sutton Schlumbaum. And this will send McKenna Metzger to the line. She, sh or sorry, Kylie <laughs> Metzger. McKenna's her younger sister who's working with us at the broadcast booth. Hopefully she'll be making plays like that in yep, a yep, couple years. Yep, that's right. Kylie's first one is good. She is a 50% free throw shooter. Number 23, Zolt checks back in for the Comets. Metzger's 11th point of the evening. Above her season average, now she has 12. Second one is good. Averaging eight and a half points per game is Metzger. Lions are gonna have to hit their free throws down Looks the stretch like it, here. Yeah. Even though both teams not in any type of foul trouble. Four, four to three in the foul department. So plenty of tight defense to be played. Gron yeah. with the lefty. Lefty shot, no good. Klaus Sabor will bring it out. Lions need to be patient, but they need to, to take good shots if they are there available. And Gron's going to get called for that foul. That only puts the Comets at four team fouls. A few more to give before we're in the bonus. Looks like they're going to start following early here. As 242 num remaining. Number 21, Sydney Damstra, the senior, is going to step in, replace Zylstra. Kind of probably looking at some defensive, offensive changes here. Yeah, nobody on the Comets with any type of foul trouble, really. And the way this is going to play out this last two minutes and 40 seconds might be a little lengthy as uh, the Comets are electing to foul early and often here to get the uh, Lions to the free throw line. And as the Comets are chasing the ball at this point, Klossbohr is going to dribble in the lane. Lions need to take <laughs> advantage and go towards the basket. I, tell mean, you, I feel a little sorry for uh, Sydney Damstra, who was, I think her responsibility was to foul <laughs> whoever had the ball, and they kept throwing it across the court, so she was chasing it, kind of wearing herself out. 16 foul, though, so the next one, the Lions will go to the free throw line.
And again, Lions are content with passing it around the perimeter. Van Wy is going to get fouled. And Reagan's going to go to the line for a one and one. She is 36% from the charity stripe. Again, not many free throws taken on the year for Zyle. the sophomore. Sorry, Zylstra checks back in. Damster will take a break. And that first free throw is up and good. And it looks like Coach Grafen will take a full timeout. We'll take it with her. You're watching Lions Basketball on the Seal Broadcast Network. Small town values will never fade. Always finding a familiar face. A long lost friend with a helpful hand. Picking right up where you left off again. It's your hometown bank in your own backyard with people that you trust. It's the way you like to live. It's the way you like to bank. Premier Bank, member FDIC. It's here. And here, there too, this way and that, across the street and around the world. It's healthcare reinvented and it lives in all of these places because we believe it should. That her and him and them all deserve healthcare that lives where they do. Sanford Health, health lives here. Back here as Reagan Van Wy will take her second free throw. Look to get the lead back to 10 for the Lions. Rattles in. That'll push the lead to 10, 51-41. Just over two minutes to play here in Rock Rapids. This is the first game of our doubleheader this evening. Don't forget we had the boys varsity to follow. Kaylee Davis checked into the game for Van Wy after that free throw. Three-pointer no good for Grand, and the Comets will retreat. Lions are going to pass it around. They're going to wait. And we got a foul here on Zylstra. Not really sure. They wasted about 15 seconds there. If they're going to foul, you might as well foul basically on the inbounds or run a, a zone or a press and play tough defense, but Schumblum will head to the line. 50.9% uh, 50 free throw shooter, knocks first down the one, first yeah. one. Key here as you're shooting one and one, get that first one in. And the Lions making them here as they now lead by 12. Pass ahead. Oh, good. Good steal there by the Lions as Schumblum saw the ball hold out held out in front of her and kind of took a swipe at it and caused it to roll around. Hymanson picked it up. Yeah, I think Zote kind of got stuck there. Nowhere to go and had the ball right in front of her. As Hymanson, 76.1% free throw shooter, will go to the line for a one and one and she knocks down her first one as well. Her 19th point of the evening, I do believe, as she went away from her season average. Second one up and good. Yeah. Lions now lead by 14 here. Mallory Niles drives baseline, no good. Mets girl pull it down. Hymanson is going to dribble past a number of Comets. Pass it into Klossabor. And she travels. Kind of drug that pivot foot a little bit. Minute 15 left here. Uh, Lions need to keep getting stops. As really do the Comets if they want to get back in this game, down by 14. Hot a bomb up top to Grand, over to Zote. Three is short. Nice hustle there by Grand. Zylstra behind the back baseline. 
Lefty floater is good for Lydia Grand. And Coach Alexander will take a timeout. A full timeout. We'll take it with them. You'll be back for our last 45 seconds after a word from our sponsors. Hi, this is David with DeNoble Austin and Company PC Certified Public Accountants. We want to take this opportunity to thank everyone involved with the Central Line Community Schools for their hard work and effort, whether it be academics, extracurricular activities, or the many clubs. We at DeNoble Austin and Company PC Certified Public Accountants are proud of your commitment and dedication to making our school and community a better place for tomorrow. Back here for the last 45 seconds, Lions get it in and are fouled. What do we got? 43 seconds remaining here as Hayden will step to the line. Had herself a nice night offensively, especially with 20 points. That's her season average, looking to add to that total. First one is no good, so the lead will remain 12. Again, Lions seemingly have enough points to win this one. It's just going to come down to playing some defense, getting some big rebounds here to close this one out. Second free throw is up and good. Zyle Strode Wobler drives in, layup no good, pot a bomb off glass. And another timeout. And another timeout. You can't take them home. No, you can't. Full timeout here. We'll stay with the action. Take this opportunity to thank our sponsors once again Avera Health, Frontier Bank, Pizza Ranch, Premier Bank, Sanford Health, DeNoble Austin and Company PC and the Pepsi Beverage Company. I also want to make sure to remind you to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you know when we post videos or when we start these live broadcasts. And you can follow Central Lion on Facebook and Twitter to keep up on all the latest news. 33 seconds remaining here, as long as the Lions uh, make free throws and uh, don't give up a bunch of three-pointers, which Boyden Hall has improved their three-point shooting percentage this half as they are now, or this for the game, they are now five for 15 after I believe a one for eight start. That was the last timeout by the Comets as well. You never say never, but this would be quite the comeback. And a jump and ball. And a jump ball. Hope you haven't tuned out, folks. We're not quite done with this first one. Lions still with a comfortable 11-point lead. Mallory Niles for three, no good. Potabom will get the rebound, clear some space. Layup is good. And we're gonna have an early foul here. Kaylee Davis will head to the line. Let's see, Kaylee's percentage from the line this year is 83%. Now shooting two as well as they well past the 10. Oh! That one hung on the rim. That able stayed and, up there Able to while. knock her down, yeah. Second one is good. All right, no fouls here on Central Lions end. Actually, they can afford oh. to foul because they only have four team fouls. For the sake of it's stopping keeping the, the clock, game going, I know what you're saying, Mr. Cruz. I think actually Coach Grafing told them to foul because they were real aggressive there. And the ball is deflected out of bounds. Seven seconds remain. Might make a nine point comeback here in the last seven seconds. Ooh, steal, layup, good. Lions don't need to inbound it. Nope. And the game will be over. That's one way to do it. That's right. Heads up play there by Schlumbum. Clock doesn't stop in high school, so anything under five, you just hold on to the ball and let the clock run out. Lions get the 58 to 49 victory. 
and the season sweep on Boyden Hall as they improve to 12 and four overall, 11 and three in Sioux Line Conference. Boyden Hall will fall to 10 and six overall and nine and five in Sioux Line Conference play. That'll do it for our girls game. We'll be back here in a few minutes for the boys pregame. You're watching Lions basketball on the Central Line Broadcast Network. Hi, this is David with DeNoble Austin and Company PC Certified Public Accountants. We want to take this opportunity to thank everyone involved with the Central Line Community Schools for their hard work and effort, whether it be academics, extracurricular activities, or the many clubs. We at DeNoble Austin and Company PC Certified Public Accountants are proud of your commitment and dedication to making our school and community a better place for tomorrow.
Welcome back to Central Line High School here in Rock Rapids for our boys part of the doubleheader tonight. Boyden Hall comes into tonight's contest 12 and 2 overall, 11 and 1 in the Sioux Line Conference play. Central Lion 7 and 7 overall and 5 and 7 in Sioux Line Conference play. Comets are led by Tanner Tesla, sophomore, led, leads in points. Second in points is junior Marcus Kelderman, and third in points would be number 55, Keaton Mosier, a senior. I uh, failed to write down their points here on our little spotting sheet or card here that we use to uh, give you guys stats, so I apologize for that. Central Lion. Is led by freshman guard Zach Lutmer, number 14. He leads the team in scoring at 14.2 points per game, leads in rebounds at 5.4 rebounds per game, and leads the team in assists at 4.4 assists per game. Mason Gerleman, a sophomore guard, is second in points at 12.3 per game, leads the team in steals at 1.3 per game. Senior Cole Huggenhorn is third on the team in points with 9.9 .9 points per game. Second in rebounds. Is actually a tie for the Lions between senior Addison Metzger and sophomore Rex Van Wy. Both have 3.4 rebounds per game. We'll take a look at some team stats here. Boyd Hall averaging 62.7 points. Lions at 60, so very similar season point averages. <clears throat> Excuse me. Boynton Hall with a slight edge in field goal percentage, 49.1% from the field. Lions shooting 47.4. Boynton Hall leads in rebounds with 31 even on the year, 25 and a half rebounds per game for the Lions as a team. 17.9 assists per game is what the comments average. Lions are at 14.9. And in steals, the comments also with a, the advantage, 8.6 to 6.9. The Comets come into tonight's contest 11 and 1 at tied for the lead with MLC Floyd Valley. 11 and 1 both teams. They split their season contest this year. I believe MLC won the first one and uh, Boyd Hall winning the second matchup between those two teams. Third is West Lion, 9 and 3 on the season. Rock Valley in fourth at 8 and 4. Okaboji, fifth at 5 and 6. Central Lion finds itself in sixth place right now overall with a 5-7 Sioux Land Conference record. Followed by George Lorak at 4-8, Sioux Center at 3-8, Sheldon at 3-9, and, and the Sibley Ocheden Generals at 0-12. Boyne Hall won the first meeting of the year 82-43 over in a Hall. Uh, they just played stifling defense against the Lions. Didn't uh, Lions, I don't think, scored for the first four minutes, four or five minutes of the game shot did not shoot very well from the field either so they'll look to improve on that tonight uh, they are improving as they're a very young team as i said they have a freshman that leads them in scoring rebounds and assists they also have three sophomores two of them will start three will play a third will play significant time also may have a fourth sophomore come off the bench so i mean they are a very very young team are the lions So the Lions will look to improve as they, uh, in the first meeting here, they are getting better each and every night out here in the Siouxland. You know, those sophomores, some of them played last year, getting more time. Obviously, Lutmer, the freshman, every game is one more game of experience that he has. And they also have, a, you know, every game they play a little bit more together as a team as, you know, this is one of the first, first times they've, they've really played, this group has played together this season. Joined back here by Mr. Jason Engelman, high school principal here at Central Lion. Sorry, Mr. I had to put my feet up a little bit uh, there. That's for all a right. Second. Understandable. Had my supper, a bag of popcorn. Yeah, as you had to officiate, that is understandable. So, what'd you talk about, Mr. Cruz? What are the 
Well, I just talked about the stats. The, what are the keys to the game? Did you go that far? Did not go that far. Okay. As we are getting ready for our starting lineups. We'll start with our Boyden Hall Comets. Okay, for the Comets tonight, your starters are Andrew Frick, Josh Heitreter, Tanner Teslaw, Spencer Teslaw, and Keaton Mosier. Starting for Central Lion will be Zach Lutmer, Mason Gerleman, Cole Hugadorn, Cooper Spees, and Addison Metzger. The Lions are coached by head coach Ben Gerleman, assisted by Mark Lutmer and Kyler Huseman. And the head coach for the Boyden Hall Comets is Bill Francis. So the Lions going with a freshman, two sophomores and two seniors, same lineup they've had for most of the year. I believe the Comets will go with four seniors and then the sophomore to Slaw. As I said, I forgot to uh, put down their some of their stats here, oh, Mr. Engelman. That's oh my, my fault. Goodness, we'll have to make it up as we go. We'll have to. I do have them in order, so we know that uh, Tanner Tesla leads them in points, followed by junior Marcus Kelderman and senior Keaton Mosier. Kelderman second in points, coming off the bench for the Comets. So the Comets look to have good bench play as well. Comets as they have been traditionally doing very well in the Siouxland Conference, doing well overall, as Mr. Cruz, I'm sure, already alluded to, 12-2 and two on the season, 11-1 and one in the conference. That's got to be tops, I would imagine, Mr. Uh, Cruz. They are tied with uh, MOC, who tied is both 11-1. Okay. Central line on the other hand, 7-7 seven seven overall. 5-7. and seven In the conference. Mr. Cruz is going to step away for a second and run a few. Our statisticians were taking a break, which they so well deserve. Comets will control the tip. Three-pointer by number 13. That's Josh Hytrader. Sinks that one. As I said, Mr. Engelman, as... Uh our statisticians were walking up right as tip went off, so they were ready to go. Uh, the first matchup between these two teams featured just extraordinary defense by the Comets. Lions will have to pick it up, pick it up offensively if they want to uh, get the W tonight. Yep, Lutmer no good on the turnaround jump shot. Number 55 will line up a three. That's Keaton Mosier, no good. Cole Hugadorn will drive baseline. Good pass in Addison Metzger. Throws up the left-handed shot off glass and good. Addison having himself a fine year during his senior campaign. Spencer, or Tanner to slot, excuse me, goes in for the, the finger roll. Yeah, you can tell right off the get-go, the Comets pride themselves on, on tough defense. They're, Sticking very close to their man at this point. Yeah, Coach Francis has uh, been a staple. That's been a staple of all of his teams, especially versus the Lions here with those three good outside shooters. A little overcommit there by the Comets allows Cole Hugadorn to go off glass on a drive. And down low, going to be stolen by Gerleman. Spees, who had himself a nice game at West Line last time out, brought it up. Lutmer over to Spies, to Metzger. Lions being patient in their offense. Gonna have a high ball screen here. Give, giving Lutmer a chance to, to move Mosier with the tip block up ahead to Tanner to Slaw. And it's poked out of bounds as Gerleman chases him down. Good defensive play by Mason. Yeah, good hustle there by Mason Gerleman, not give up and uh, poke that ball out from behind. 
Boyne Hall will set up for the out-of-bounds play. Tanner to Slaw for three, that's no good. Good box out by Metzger, who clears room for a Gerleman. Down low to Addison, tipped. Oh, and rifles a pass out to Lutmer just over his head I into think the fourth row of the bleachers. <laughs> Got a little, uh, little excited there as he was getting all kinds of uh, contact down low and tried to clear it out a little too hard. Frick into Mosier. Mosier works down low and connects off glass. Lions went to dig down low there and double, but uh, Comets are a pretty decent team, shooting 37% as a team from three points, so you can't do that too much. Good inside look, but just as good recovery defense by Tanner Tesla, who blocks that one out of bounds. Yeah, 6'3 Tesla with uh, about a five inch height advantage over Gerlman, able to get back in enough to get the uh, block there. Pass down low to Metzger. Deflected and stolen by Tesla. Spencer to Slaw to Heitreder. Keaton Mosier finds himself open on the baseline. Good pass or good entry feed from Frick. Yeah, did a good job there on the back cut with the back screen. A little flex screen there by the Comets. Spees is going to be run into by Tanner Tesla as the Comets are working on their defensive rotations. First foul on the Comets, first on Tesla as Rex Van Wy checks in early for Cooper Spees. Lutmer drives off balance. Kiss off the glass, good. 6-9, Lions trail by three, just under four minutes here in the first quarter, or well, remaining in the first quarter. Good take there by Lutmer and good body control as Metzger gets the steal now. Gerleman for three, that is good. The Lions tie it up early. We're knotted at nine. Good start here for the Lions. Good ball rotations, playing good defense, and uh, leading the good things here. High trader for three, he connects on his second three-pointer of the night. Yeah, just a 33% three-point shooter on the year. Two for two here early in the game. Pass into Metzger, drives left-handed, up and good. Metzger does a good job there, body control again, as the, giving up some height, but able to hold it off there long enough to uh, get the layup. Mosier, good dump pass to Frick. No look, dump pass on the baseline. Lions didn't see it coming, and Frick with a wide open two-pointer. Yeah, good, ball, good, uh, good pass there, but also very good movement without the ball by Frick. Cole Hogadorn from the baseline is good. And again, the Lions tied up. And we got a 30 second timeout called here by Coach Gerleman. We'll stay here. Why thank, not? Thank all of our sponsors here for the first time in this boys game of Vera Health, Frontier Bank, Pizza Ranch, Premier Bank, Sanford Health, Denoble Austin Company PC, and the Pepsi Beverage Company. Like we said, much better start to this game compared to the first game of the season for the Lions. 2-18 remaining here in the first quarter, tying it up 14-14. Three-point ball keeping us in the game here yep. as it has really most of the season. That's kind of what the Lions do. They have two or three guys that shoot it from about 40% or better, 35% or better from, the, uh, from beyond the arc as we are early two for three. Comets no slouch either. They're two for four 
They have a couple of uh, deadly shooters from the outside as well, so see how that goes as this game progresses. Kelderman down low. Again, he's one of the high scorers for the Comets coming off the bench. Seeing first action tonight for the Lions is number three, senior Carter Kroll. Hogadorn for three, and that's good. Lions take the early lead, 17-14. Very good there by good ball penetration, or good dribble penetration, sorry, by Lutmer, and then out to Kelderman no good for three, and Lutmer's going to be run into by Keaton Mosier, I believe. We'll see if that's the call. It is. That's, I think, the first on number 55. Yes, team second foul. Fairly clean first quarter yep. with a minute and a half good, left here. Good defense, but even better offense so far this first quarter. Lots of long-range shots falling down for both teams. Van Weil worked down low. Shot off glass, no good. Frick brings it to the offensive side, no good. Tipped around, he gets his own rebound. How'd that happen? And that'll 24, Dayton Brunsting somehow came down with it and he's gonna be fouled on his way to the basket. Brunsting, a 57% free throw shooter on the year. First one is good. A few substitutions. Cooper Spees will enter for Addison Metzger. And number 10, Cody Noble will see his first action as he replaces number three, Andrew Frick. Mason Girlman again will come back onto the floor with giving Cole Hogadorn a break. And second free throw is good for Brunsting. One point lead, nearing the minute mark of the first quarter. Lutmer drives. I think the Lions are gonna try and hold for one hold here. for one. We've seen this many a times this year. And a no call there as the ball, and a no call there. So a couple no calls and it'll stay with Boyden Hall Comets. Good out of bounds play to Sloss. Sets a screen and they screen the screener and gets the ball in. The Sloss misses but gets the ball back. Left handed shot by Kelderman is no good. We're going to have an over the back call, I think, on Keaton Mosier. And if I'm not mistaken, that's going to be his second foul. I think the Lions got lucky there as that really, there really wasn't much contact on Mosier, or from Mosier that is. But you're gonna get some calls to go your way, you're gonna get some calls that don't go, to go your way. That's what I tell all the fans when they're yelling at me in the <laughs> sub-varsity games. Oh, and we got a traveling call in the corner on Carter Kroll. Number 23, Spencer Tesla will re-enter. Kelderman for three from the corner, no good. And that'll bring an end to the first quarter as both teams exchange leads, but it's gonna be Boyden Hall up one, 18-17 here in Rock Rapids. 
Hi, this is David with DeNoble Austin & Company PC Certified Public Accountants. We want to take this opportunity to thank everyone involved with the Central Lion Community Schools for their hard work and effort, whether it be academics, extracurricular activities, or the many clubs. We at DeNoble Austin & Company PC Certified Public Accountants are proud of your commitment and dedication to making our school and community a better place for tomorrow. Back here at Central Line High School for the start of our second quarter where Boyden Hall has the 18-17 lead. High scoring quarter here, 18-17 points. Spies with, with it. Over to Lutmer. Again, tough defense being played here by the Comets. Good pass inside, and it's blocked. Deflected out of bounds by Lutmer, but it's going to stay with the Comets. Out there for the Lions currently is Cooper Spees, Cole Hugedorn, Zach Lutmer, Mason Girlman, and Addison Metzger. And for the Comets, we have Spencer Teslaw, Marcus Kelderman, Tanner Teslaw, Cody Noble, and Dayton Brunstein. That ball is going to sail out of bounds. Comets will keep it underneath their own basket. Again, good back and forth action. Game getting a little physical. Which probably favors Boynton Hall, to be honest with you, the way they play defense. Gurleman from the corner. That's good. Big shot by Mason Gurleman who sinks another three-pointer. That'll put the Lions ahead by two. Cody Noble inside, too strong off the glass, but he'll get his own rebound. Second one, though, is up and good, so we're knotted at 20. Good stick with itness by uh, Cody Noble. Zach Lutmer up top. Hogadorn will drive baseline all the way to the rim. I think you surprised how yeah, I think so too. How, how open, open he was. was. Intercepted by Spies. Good ball fake. Cooper Spies will line up a three. That's no good. A little short. Boy, these teams are running back and forth, Mr. Cruz. They are. It's getting up tempo, fast action. <clears throat> Fun basketball, really. Nobody wants to see a... Brunsting with the nice nice yeah. pass down low to Noble. I was going to say, nobody wants to see uh, you know game 35 point to 35 to 34 game. No. Might as well. They don't want to see it, and they don't want to listen to it. That's right. Might as well be 75-74. You're going to have a tight one. Down low to Metzger, who turns left side, and that's good. Metzger doing a good job. Pump fake gets both defenders in the air, and then able to get the shot off and make it. As subs in for the Comets, number three, Andrew Frick back into the game, along with Josh Heitrader, as Noble and Brunsting will take a break. Addison's free throw is no good. Rebound to Andrew Frick. Marcus Kelderman's going to get called for the travel. Turnover comments. We're still tied at 22. 540 remains here in the half. Both teams playing solid defense. Only six fouls combined. Two for the Lions, four for the Comets. 
And it's not really from a lack of aggressiveness no, either. Both not. teams going at the basket. Girlman from deep. That's well short, but rebounded by Metzger. Lions will set it up now. Probably smart decision here. Zach Lutmer with good body control, just can't convert on that shot attempt. Good Again. defense there by Spees, get a hand on that ball. See a lot of deflections, a lot of, a lot of defenders stepping up in the passing lanes for both sides. Kroll comes in for Gurleman. Same play they ran earlier. Bru uh, is that not? No, that's it's Spencer, Spencer Tislaw from the corner for a three-pointer. Same play they ran earlier. The first time Tanner Tislaw got the layup. This time Spencer Tislaw. They the defense uh, goes to Tanner and Spencer gets the three. So we really got to watch those Tislaws. Yes, you do on those out of bounds plays. There's a third one here on the roster. Hasn't been in the game yet. We're lucky we don't have to. Well, I got my eye on him down there <laughs> just in case. Rex Van Wy back into the game for Spees. Tanner Saslaw, the 6'3 sophomore, will bring it up. High Traders hit a couple threes tonight, so we got to honor his three point shot. Andrew Frick, off glass, no good, tipped around. He'll get his own rebound again, and that's. Can't afford to do that if you're the Lions. No, uh, the first the first opportunity to rebound there, it's actually two Comet defenders knock the ball away from each other. Unfortunately, Lions weren't able to corral it, and they get it back in the back. The Comets, that is, get it back and get the bucket. Hogador, no good. Lutmer will chase it down. Good hesitation dribble on the baseline. And Hogadorn will hit another one. I believe that's three from basically the same spot I for Cole Hogadorn. I would agree. Tanner to Slaw is going to drive. Spencer to Slaw for three. No good. He gets his own rebound. It's been a theme the last couple possessions as the shooter's been getting their own rebound. Uh-oh, we got Cole Hogadorn down. I think he may have twisted an ankle on that play. Yeah, I think he might have just stepped on. Looks like he's just going to walk it off. Looks like he yep. stepped on another person's foot maybe. That quick twinge of, uh, of pain that you get sometimes when you do that. Spencer to Slaw, steps up, knocks down the first one, shooting 66.7% from the free throw line this year. Second one, no good. Rebound down to Lutmer. Again, a tight ball game here, 28-25. Hogadorn found his spot again, but he's going to dribble in for the jumper, no good. Big rebound by Andrew Frick. Brunsting will drive in. And he hands off to Tanner to Slaw. Good steal by Zach Lutmer. He's going to go all the way to the basket and up and good for the freshman. Good steal and then take by Lutmer. Outruns the defense. High Treader goes down low over to Teslaw for three. Another miss. Brunsing will bring down the rebound. So if there's one thing Coach Gerlman can talk about in the locker room, I think it's got to be securing these rebounds on the defensive end. Yeah, I believe they've doubled us up. Uh, I think they've got 15 Rebounds on the night. That is a comment. Seven offensive, eight defensive. Lions only have seven total rebounds on our unofficial stats. Metzger to Lutmer, and the shot's long. Rebounded by Van Wy, who will put it back up and in. Big rebound on the far side by Rex Van Wy. Yeah, good court awareness too. He took that big, that big dribble in, and then was able to just kind of drift away and get the easy bucket. Good defense by Carter Kroll. And there's a defensive rebound by Van Wy. Much better job of boxing out there by the Lions. Hogador on again baseline.
pull up jumper, no good, ball's loose. And wouldn't you know it, Addison Metzger hits the floor going for it. Addison, first time on the floor, I do believe, yep. though, tonight, which is. Adds to his career floor, <laughs> That's right. floor burn total. His second team foul, or his second personal foul, fourth team foul is. Boynton Hall will take the 30 second timeout. We'll stay here with a minute 42 to go in this first half. Very competitive game. Lions, I believe, were trailed by about 25 at halftime the first time, the first time uh, they played, these two teams played this season. So much better start to this game for the Lions as they are shooting 54% from the field. Boynton Hall right not too far behind them at 52%. But the Lions are three for, or sorry, five for eight from three point. We're going hold just three for 10, and that is the difference right now, keeping Lions in this game. Absolutely, and, and that's the thing. The Lions, you, you can be hot or cold from beyond the arc, and right now we're hot, which is keeping us in the ball game. And really, if we can even out those rebounding totals, the Comets have scored a great deal of their points on the offensive rebound, second, third chance opportunities. If we can limit those, I mean, this game can remain close throughout. Yeah, we don't have second chance points as a, a stat in front of us. It uh, will flash across the video board at some point. Maybe we'll catch it, but you know, it's got to be high for the Rockets. High chair. And there's a three-pointer by Tanner Teslaw, the team's leading scorer. He shoots that at about a 45% clip. Van Wild drive, nothing happening. Cooper Spees will do the same. He pulls up for a jumper. Nice shot there. An aggressive move by number two, Cooper Spees. Yeah, good job not to go all the way down to the rim either and stop and take that little five-footer. Brunsting no good. Big rebound by Gurleman. And Coach Gurleman was able to get a timeout called just before I think we're gonna have a jump ball. So we got another 30 second timeout, Mr. Cruz. What do you think? You got any reminders or upcoming events we should know about? You bet, upcoming events here on the Central Line Broadcast Network this Friday, we will have the Sioux Line Conference Wrestling Tournament, 445 start time. Also this Friday, we will have Central Line versus Sioux Center basketball at six o'clock. So we'll have two events going on here on the Central Line Broadcast Network. And then next Tuesday, another boys girls basketball doubleheader versus Sheldon. And then I believe next Thursday, we'll be at home versus Hills Beaver Creek. That'll be our final home game, regular season home game at least, doubleheader of this 2019-2020 basketball season. And here we go for the last 30 seconds. 30 some seconds here. I got to guess that uh, Zach Lutmer is going to try and dribble this ball for about 20, and then the Lions will set a play up for the last 10 seconds or so. And the comment sent another defender at Zach. He's able to get rid of it, but gets it back. Rex Van Wy. Drives in, he's gonna get, uh, he's gonna draw the blocking foul. Good call there. As Rex goes up in the air and then is fouled kind of underneath uh, by Brunsting, who's getting an explanation from our official. Key as well, that's only the 15 foul, so if that was not on the shot, Rex would not be shooting nope. here. As he knocks down the first one. Carter Krull checks in here for the last 2.3 seconds to play some defense. Rex on the year is shooting 58% from the line. He sinks them both. That'll tie us up at 33. Brunsting from half court, no good. So quite a different script we're following here tonight. We are tied up 33-33 as we enter halftime here in the second half of our Sioux Conference doubleheader. At Avera, you're surrounded by a team focused on your mind, body, and spirit. 
That passion inspires our expert doctors and researchers to uncover more progressive treatments and technology, prescribing more effective medications, analyzing your DNA to pinpoint the best treatment for you. No matter what the future holds, our passion for progress will never fade. Small town values will never fade. Always finding a familiar face. A long lost friend with a helpful hand. Picking right up where you left off again. It's your hometown bank. In your own backyard. With people that you trust. It's the way you like to live. It's the way you like to bank. Premier Bank. Member FDIC. It's here, and here, there too, this way and that, across the street and around the world. It's healthcare reinvented, and it lives in all of these places because we believe it should. That her and him and them all deserve healthcare that lives where they do. Sanford Health. Health lives here. Hi, this is David with DeNoble Austin & Company PC Certified Public Accountants. We want to take this opportunity to thank everyone involved with the Central Line Community Schools for their hard work and effort, whether it be academics, extracurricular activities, or the many clubs. We at DeNoble Austin & Company PC Certified Public Accountants are proud of your commitment and dedication to making our school and community a better place for tomorrow.
Back here at Central Lion, start of our second half, where we are tied up, 33 apiece. Central Lion shooting 56% from the field, 52% for Boyden Hall. Lions with that big edge in three points shooting as they are shooting 62.5% to just 33 for Boyden Hall. Two for three from the free throw line are the Lions and three for five, Boyden Hall. Boyden Hall again, 17 to nine rebound advantage. They are just taking it to the Lions on the boards and really that's how they're in, that's how this game is tied. Lions have played, probably really outplayed them in uh, up and down and open court, but uh, they just haven't gotten, haven't gotten a, hot, a whole lot of defensive rebounds as we have officially eight offensive rebounds for the Comets to just three for the Lions. Joined once again here by Coach Gerleman. Sorry, Coach, Coach Gerleman. Come Sorry. on, Coach Engelman. I was watching the watching the huddle down there and a little respect over all here, right, Mr. Right, Cruz. Right. We worked together now for what six games. I think. I don't even know yeah, my name. Seventh game, maybe. Mosier, who kind of forgot it been sitting most of the first half with two personal fouls early. And more of the same there, misses it but gets his own rebound and makes it on the second chance opportunity. Spees are gonna go right at Mosier. And Spees connects with the two point basket. Nice little turnaround there for Cooper, his seventh point. High Treader, Frick. Tanner and Spencer to Slaw and Keaton Mosier out there for the Comets and Mosier connects again on the block. Lutmer, Spies, Gerleman, Metzger, and Hugedorn. Cole, a big part of that first half scoring attack with a couple three-pointers. See if he can find a, find a spot on this side of the floor. Almost able to there, just not the, not the greatest pass. Lutmer will line up a three, that's no good. Just off the rim. Again, good movement by the, the guards of the Comets as they try to find a seam and the good interior passing once again as Frick, Frick connects on the layup attempt. Metzger drives and throws it out of bounds. Again, it comes down to which teams are gonna make the adjustments the second half and who's gonna get hot. And right now it's the Comets who take a four point lead early in this third quarter. Again, that first half went pretty quick. So did halftime. Yes, it did. Didn't get much of a breather, it felt like. Mosier yeah. again. Mosier who's got, got some energy, having, having to sit on the bench there that first half with two fouls. So he's ready to go. Yeah, they obviously missed him that first half. He has come out and they've gone to him almost every possession. Spees. Lutmer will start the offense over. Gonna drive and kick. Okay, maybe a little spacing issue here for the Lions. They try to balance the floor. Lutmer for three, no good. Lummer had him improved his three-point percentage in the last few games, unable to make those last two down the court. Tanner to Slaw with some nifty moves as he gets to the basket. And Coach Gerlman, before this gets out of hand, is going to take a timeout and try to motivate his guys. Full timeout here for the Lions. We'll take it with them. You're watching Lions basketball on the CL Broadcast Network.
Back here, Central Lion. Lions trail by eight. After being tied at halftime here, comments come out with a mission. Travel violation. Force another turnover here. You can tell this kind of offensive attack started with Keaton Mosier down low and they've kind of jumped on his back and had many contributors this evening. But they definitely enjoy number 55 being back on the court. Spencer to Slaw spins, nothing happening in the lane. Mosier will drive in, left-handed layup, up and good. Strong move by number 55, the senior. And that'll push the lead to double digits. Free throw is no good. Jo High Trader gets it and then has it taken away by Hogadorn. Sometimes why they tell your post, don't bring the ball down. That's right, don't bring it below your waist. That's where the guards are. Entry pass stolen, but then turned over as uh, Frick steps on the baseline. Hogadorn will set up the offense for the Lions. Again, looking for a spark. Who's it going to be? Metzger to Hogadorn, who's going to drive baseline. Cut off. Gurlum in for three. That ball is tipped. And out and running are the Comets. Left hand a layup, no good. To Slaw is going to get it, but he's fouled on the ground. Lions letting the Comets get out and run, not something they really want to do. You got to do a better job in transition defense and get back. As Van Wy and Krull will check in for Spees and Gerleman. High Trader with the left handed layup. Good out of bounds play. I think we were so focused on the Teslaws from. Yeah, the forgot about uh, Josh High Trader cutting to the basket. Good hustle there on behalf of both, both teams. I think last touch by Addison Metzger. Boyne Hall will get another shot here. At uh, been very efficient tonight at the out of bounds plays. Mosier gets a layup, and they get another basket off the out of bounds. They throw a lot at you from that baseline. They do. Hugadorn from deep. He remains hot from behind the arc. Another three-pointer for Cole. Step back there a little further beyond the three, but nonetheless, Cole puts it down. The Lions need stops now if they're going to get back in this game. We're going to have a foul on the floor here. I think that's going to go to number three, Carter Kroll. Third team foul for the Lions. Currently no team fouls for the Comets. So again, good defense being played by both squads. There's an out of bounds. We keep the Comets from scoring off the first pass, but the second pass, no such luck. Spoke just a little too soon there as we thought we had them, but uh, sometimes it's the secondary, secondary option there off the inbounds. Hogadorn drives, cut off. Good defense being played by Spencer to Slaw. Pass intercepted by Mosier. And out of bounds. And in comes Marcus Kelderman. And 
Dayton Brunsting for the comments. Kale Schulte will see his first first action of the night. Yep. He replaces Addison Metzger for the Lions. Lions need to get a couple good offensive sets here in the last two minutes of this third quarter. Try and get this lead or this uh, deficit back to single digits. Pass intercepted again. Mosier's going to bring it down the court. Ball's going to go out of bounds. Real smart play there. Zach Lutmer, number three, uh, Andrew Frick, wasn't going to let Zach get in front of in front to block it, so he just took number three into Mosier and uh, almost knocked the ball out himself there. It's a slaw for three. It's good. Boy, out-of-bounds plays are killing the Lions they are. tonight. They scored. I think they Boy, might purposely be trying to get it yeah, out of bounds yeah. so they can get an easy basket. And, and that's going to be a charge call on Van Wy, who lowers his shoulder into Mosier. I think Rex just kind of lost balance yep. there, and uh, his only option was to shoulder Mosier. Minute 30 here, remaining in the third quarter. Gonna have a foul here on Van Wy. <coughs> Excuse me. You know the comments said they they took Tanner Sasla over to uh, to Mosier's side there, so Lions couldn't dig out on Mosier. Another offensive rebound. And we're gonna foul on the shot. If you're a Lions fan, a bonus or they didn't score immediately off the inbounds play. They had to work for that one. They did, they did. Keaton Mosier shooting just 51.4% from the line this year. Knocks that one down. His 15th point of the evening. Knocks Second them both down. one is good as well. See if the Lions can uh, get out of the 30s here. Only, I believe we've only scored five points this this quarter. Yeah, this is the this is the defense at Boyne Hall, taking them to the lead in the Siouxland Conference. And here comes to Slaw on the attack. Good pass to Mosier who connects. Good no look pass. From to Slaw, Tanner to Slaw to Keaton Mosier. Lutmer, again being guarded closely by Andrew Frick. Ball deflected out of bounds. Hogadorn in for Kroll. Cody Noble will check in for Andrew Frick. Twenty-seven seconds remain. See again if the Lions elect to take the last shot of the quarter. Try to build some momentum before the break. Gerlman's going to drive, kicks to Lutmer, fumbles it a little bit. And a block before the quarter ends, so that'll bring us uh, to the end of the quarter. 59-38 as the Comets extend their lead by 21. It was a tie ball game coming out of the half, Mr. Cruz, and now we're facing a 21-point deficit. Yeah, excellent quarter there, obviously, by the Comets. Lions, <coughs> excuse me, Lions get a little stagnant on offense, uh, not able to get some of those open three-pointers or even contested three-pointers, really. They had a couple, made a couple three-pointers with guys in their face in that first half. Really didn't get very many opportunities. Cole Hogadorn did make one um, towards the end of the end of the quarter there to uh, get the only one I do believe of the quarter for the Lions. Uh, still shooting 50% from three point, 50% on the year as well. But uh, 
Now Boyden Hall after that, excellent. They were shooting 52% from the field at half. They are now shooting 64.86, almost 65% from the field. So just an excellent quarter there for or by the Comets. Uh, as I'm trying to do some quick math in my head, 33 to 33. So uh, 23 points scored that quarter by Boyden Hall to just five by the Lion. No, sorry, 26 to five. <laughs> I was going to let you correct that yourself. Uh, but uh, sorry. It's getting late. It, it, is. it is. What is it? Quarter to nine? Yeah, it's getting past my bedtime here, so it's hard to do math out this late at night. But, no, 26-point quarter, just uh, outstanding by the, the Comets. Lions are going to need to get some threes and get them early in this fourth quarter to get back in this game. Hogan dribbles over to Lutmer. Schulte still in the game. And we're going to have a foul on the ground. I think the officials just kind of wanted to get them off that zero mark for the, yeah, the team fouls. That was just kind of looking, <laughs> looking that, funny up there. That uh, wasn't really a whole lot of contact no. compared to what's been going on in this game, but uh, Lions get to draw the foul. And there's another one. So two quick fouls. Both there on Cody Noble, so he has three fouls now. Spees top of the key, Girlman into the corner. Good catch by Lutmer on that pass. Jumper in the lane, no good. Rebound to Slaw, and he's going to look ahead to Noble. Good catch. Catch it and maintain body control. Nice play there by Cody Noble. Yeah, very good effort there just to corral that one. Nearly stolen again there by Brunsting. Nearly stolen again. Spees. Boy, these Comet defenders are very active, even in this fourth quarter with the lead the way it is. They're not letting up. No, they're long and lanky. They do a good job of keeping arms up at all times and get uh, deflections. Girlman finally sees some daylight, and he connects on the three-pointer. Those shots haven't come easy tonight for the Lions. As Kelderman comes up short, lands in the hands of Keaton Mosier, who connects underneath the basket. Again, offensive rebounds, another thing going against the Lions. Yeah, that one, not only offensive rebound and the putback, but kind of unlucky as the ball almost airballed, just catches the rim and literally falls right to Mosier as the ball is thrown away here now. Kelderman going to drive and gets the layup. Lead now 24. Drive by Hugadorn, and he's going to be fouled on play. He's going to be shooting a pair from the line. Hugadorn from the line, having himself a nice ball game. I don't know what is up to 14 points. Is that correct? I believe we unofficially have him for 14 points, 14. yes. Some substitutions here. Number three, Andrew Frick into the ball game. 23, Spencer Tesla and not sure who the other one was. Might be 24. No, it was 13. Josh Hytrader back in the game. Noble drive. Hytrader. And Comets working the ball around the perimeter. High Trader will line up a three. He connects again. The lefties hit a few tonight. Four for six is what we have him for now from three point. Hoganorn drives. Brings it back out. Lutmer. Gets Good. himself a layup and 
Boy, Zach's had to work extra hard tonight. They're throwing a lot of defense at him. Good to see him connect on, on a basket down low. Ball. Might have got away almost, with a walk there. Well, I almost saw Addison <laughs> was going to lead the break there. Gurleman for three, no good. Say a, big, say a thank you to Clarence Hellinga for subscribing to our channel. We got the little pop up on the screen. All as right. Marcus Kelderman gets the layup. Yeah, thank you to all those subscribers who are listening in tonight and to our many broadcasts we provide throughout the year. Remember, after this basketball season, we'll have, well, we'll go into concert season, as I like to call it as we will have uh, all of our concerts also be on the broadcast network. Starting early in March, I do believe. Second week, I think we'll have our first one and then we'll have anything we have in this gym or in the auditorium, we'll have on our YouTube channel. Pass a little too low there. And goes off the legs of one of the Comets. Can't tell you which one. Twenty-five point lead here. As Gerlman takes a three-pointer, he's off the mark. Rebound by Kellerman. Frick down low, muscles his way up for a two-pointer. Beast, good pass down low, and Addison's going to be fouled on the play. He's going to go to the free throw line. The seniors has himself a pretty good game tonight. Not scoring a whole lot, but again, holding his own down low. Got to be the leading rebounder, I would, I would think, for the, for the Lions. Uh, we have Lutmer actually as a leading rebounder right now, unofficially. Unofficially. Our stat statisticians up here doing their best, but uh, it's difficult to keep track of everything that goes on in the game. Spencer to Slaw, down low, off glass, good. Two fifty remaining here in the fourth quarter. Again, Comets playing their typical tight defense. Metzger down low, cross court pass to Hogadorn, who's kind of been the offensive star tonight for the Lions. Oh, and we're going to have a I think Zach's shoelace touched the line there, so we're going to have a uh, turnover. Braden Darren now into the game for Cole Hugadorn. Marcus Kelderman will bring it up. Cody Noble. And pass intercepted by Van Wy. And comments are going to be called for a foul. So now we're all back to even in the foul department. Six to six. So we'll be in the bonus here on the next one. Wagmeister and Rasmussen now into the game, along with Cody Vanderswag for the comments. Dylan Miller also in for the Comets, number 35, right. the senior. Oh, pass intercepted by Heitritter. He's going to go in for the left-handed layup. Two Comets get the offensive rebound. And Spencer Tesla will 
put it in and we're gonna timeout, but it's just a substitution timeout as number 44, Damian Rubers will come in, the junior, and also number 32, Brady Frick. We'll see his first action tonight. I believe number 40, Tanner Lockhorst. Okay, number 35 as well, Dylan Miller. Braden Deeren for three, no good. Miller secures it. Vander's wag. Wagmeister with the deflection. Out of bounds, that'll stay with the Comets. Just over a minute here, a minute, minute 10. I think that's Lock, is that Lockhorse? Nope, uh, Rubers. Rubers. Kroll to Rasmussen for three. Luke misses the long range attempt. Carter Kroll's gonna shoot one from deep. And rebound will go to Brady Frick. And we're gonna have a foul, which is gonna <laughs> gotta keep the subs at the scorer's table because we're gonna have a one and one free throw here. Number 11, Jonathan Tesla. Number 44, Austin. And the shooter was, the was exiting, but he's gotta stay out there. Oh. And number 11 is in. Did you say that already, Mr. Cruz? Uh, yes, yeah. Jonathan. Sorry. Jonathan, Jonathan to Sla. To Sla into the ball game now. 44, Austin Hoppy will enter for the shooter. <laughs> Who's going to get another one? Made his first one. Cody Vanderswag. And he sinks the pair. Rasmussen to Deeren. Down to Wagmeister. Clears some space. He's going to be fouled on the shot attempt. He will go to the charity stripe. First one is good for number 32, Jay Wagmeister. Second one circles around and drops through. Fifteen seconds here left to be played. No good. Wagmeister to Rasmussen over to Van Wy. Who's going to elect not to shoot it? And that'll end it here tonight. A 78 47 victory. Comets over the Lions in tonight's Siouxland battle. I want to remind everyone we'll be back on the air this Friday. Siouxland Conference Wrestling Tournament on the air at 445. And then basketball as well Friday versus Sioux Center at 6 o'clock. And then next Tuesday, basketball versus Sheldon at 6 o'clock. Four. Mr. Jason Engelman, I'm Jeff Cruz signing off. Thanks for watching.